Hello there, welcome. Welcome to the series of interview questions on software architecture system design by Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, what is the use of maintainability of a software system? So there is a term called maintainability. As a software architect, we use this term. So let's see what exactly does it mean. Maintainability refers to the degree to which a software can correct defects and cause of defects. So if there are like, you know, issues that are happening in the software, how those defects can be corrected, how we can resolve the cause of those defects, that way we increase the maintainability. Like because in long term, uh, any software like initially goes through some conceptualization, then we do a de design, then we do development, then we go to deployment, but after deployment, defects come, right? So when the defects come, how easy it is to fix those defects? How easy it is to like solve them defects from the root cause? That is the maintainability of the software. So it also refers to repairing the erroneous components without impacting the working components. So that is another part, like I mean, if you have a monolith, if you have to repair something, for sure it can break things in other you know, parts. There is in microservices, we can repair the specific microservice without impacting the rest of the working components. So that way, using microservices, we can increase the maintainability of our overall system. Another aspect is to prevent occurrence of failure conditions. So that is like, if there are failure conditions that are going to happen, and if we know about that, we can handle them gracefully or we can prevent them, right? So that is the degree to which we can prevent this using maintainability so that defects do not have much like, you know, impact. Another aspect of maintainability is to maximize the useful life of software because if we are developing something like we expect that software to run for like five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line so that we do not need to upgrade it like, you know, or change the overall system. Right? In such a case, we keep on using refactoring, we keep on doing the right kind of upgrades so that software can is always latest. It doesn't become like a dinosaur kind of a software that very few people know about it and people are afraid to change it. So due to that, we put a lot of test cases, unit test cases, so that people can maintain uh, the new joinees can also work on that and they can increase the life of that software. Maintainability also refers to maximizing the efficiency, reliability, and safety of a software. Because if we can like maximize the efficiency, like in future, software will be heavily used, right? So in such a case, if the efficiency is better, then there is high chance that same software will be used. Whereas if software is not performing, it's not scalable, then it's like people will discard the software, it will be doing sunset, and we have to be replaced by some other kind of a software. So we have to focus on maximizing the efficiency, reliability, and safety of the software. And another part of maintainability is to satisfy new requirements, which is more like extensibility. But at the same time, if it's easier to change the software, we will be able to satisfy new requirements easily. And that will help in reducing our costs and maintaining the same software. And then we have making future maintenance easier, which is like if there are any upgrades or change requests or any like library changes if we have highly maintainable software we can make these maintenance parts much easier and like just like by clicks or like by a few changes let's say nowadays we use maven so just making some changes in spawn we can upgrade things so it becomes a highly maintainable software another part is that to cope up with changes in the environment right so that is what uh, we have so most of the time uh, software like you know the environment changes like earlier we used to deploy in data centers now we have to go to cloud computing so if we have to deploy in cloud like aws or gcp if we have to move from one cloud to another cloud so all these changes how our software can cope up with that that is also the maintainability part and we refer maintainability as a continuous improvement and that way if we are continually improving it our software making it better it becomes highly maintainable so another important factor here is refactoring so we keep refactoring the different parts of the software so that any latest changes are taken care of and runtime environment keep working fine so that way we keep refactoring 
adding like you know new logic and like making it more extensible to improve the maintainability and then there are some factors that reduce the maintainability so let's go through them quickly one is that code may be poorly written and not well organized so if you have not organized your code in right kind of packages it is not understandable then there's no good documentation then people may not be able to maintain it another aspect is there are defects in source code so if you are having many defects in the source code you can't expect the code to work so smoothly people would have to fix them before adding certain things and there can be issue with the vulnerabilities in the code which are not identified or tested so we need to see that code is fully tested like i mean it has a good code coverage from unit test perspective from system test perspective security test perspective penetration trust perspective so that we do not come across those vulnerabilities later on other aspects that reduce the maintainability is that code may be written in a complex way so if we have unnecessarily created a complicated algorithm we might have to simplify it to make it more maintainable and if a software is developed as a monolith then also at times it is not maintainable and code is not documented properly we need to add right kind of documentation right kind of unit tests and one more like you know hidden way of reducing the maintainability is that there's a lot of unused code which is also known as dead code so if you have a lot of unused code, keep removing that code from your code base. And you can always have the history in the Git. So keep removing that dead code so that it takes has faster build time and it's like you know lesser number of tests are needed for that. And there are lesser chances of error. So that way maintainability is increased if you reduce the dead code again. Alright, that's all from us on maintainability topic. And if you have any other questions on system design or software architecture, to post in comments, we'll be happy to answer you. Thank you and have a great day.